local for most. Today is the solemnity of Corpus Christi, and in Rome, a Vatican cardinal celebrated Mass inside of St. Peter's Basilica. Veniamo inseriti nella sua stessa dinamica. In his homily, Cardinal Mauro Gambetti says faith and a change in attitude are needed to accomplish what Jesus is asking of the faithful. The Cardinal celebrated Mass in place of the Holy Father, who is dealing with knee pain. Joining us now from Rome is Father Robert Gall, professor at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross. Father Gall, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. If you don't mind, can you tell us more about the solemnity of Corpus Christi, what it celebrates, and, and how long it's been on the church calendar? Sure, it's really beautiful because so many things have happened in the church. It's really come from the grassroots. It's come from below, from the personal prayer of a lay, well, a woman who was consecrated, Saint Juliana of Liège or Mont Corion in what is now Belgium, and she had messages from our Lord Jesus Christ, and he encouraged her to have this feast established in the church because Holy Thursday is not enough time for us to really savor this great mystery of the Holy Eucharist, and then subsequently the. Pope Pope in 1264, Pope Urban IV, when he was living in Orvieto here in Italy, just about 100 miles from Rome, he established this as a feast for the Universal Church. And I understand some parishes uh, will celebrate Corpus Christi actually today, and others will observe it on Sunday. Um, can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Sure. So for the universal calendar, it should normally be on Thursday. And it's really specified, and this was part of the message from Jesus to St. Juliana, was that it be on the Thursday after the Feast of the Blessed Trinity. So it's also a, a marvelous connection between the celebration of the Solemnity of the Holy Trinity and the Holy Eucharist. But in many places, especially the United States, most places it's been moved to Sunday. Uh, because in, in those countries where it's a holy day of obligation, they keep it on Thursday. But I understand that in the United States, the ordinariates of Anglican use, uh, the chair of St. Peter, uh, which is the, 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 ordin the name of the ordinary, that they'll be celebrating it today on this Thursday after the Feast of the Holy Trinity. Unfortunately, here in Rome and in the Vatican, it's celebrated on Sunday, and therefore we lose a little bit of this special historical savor of this feast day. And I'm wondering, Father, you know, how can the solemnity, how can it help us in the world today? Well, what's really important here, and I think this can help us to appreciate it, that at the time when this was established as a solemnity in the church, there wasn't much of a tradition of really looking at the Holy Eucharist. There wasn't even much of a tradition of there being a tabernacle in the church at the center. In fact, the tabernacle was off to the side or even somewhere over in the sacristy. And at this time, we're, we're speaking about the 13th century, the practice of elevating the Holy Eucharist at the moment right after consecration creation after the miracle of transubstantiation became the common practice of the church so that today around the world we celebrate this feast day as the day in which we know that we can adore Jesus truly really present in his humanity in his divinity in the holy eucharist his body and his blood in the sacred species and father before i let you go uh, i'm curious anything else you think is really important for our audience to know about the solemnity well, what's really important about today's liturgical practice is that going all the way back to 1275, beginning in Germany, the tradition began of Eucharistic processions. So carrying our Lord present, present in the Holy Eucharist in the monstrance throughout the city streets. This is such a beautiful practice. If you haven't been able to participate in it, please try to do so through your parish, through your diocese, facilitate it to be organized. It's such a wonderful experience to see how Jesus wants to accompany us in our daily life and that he with his the Holy Eucharist is present to us. And at all times, we can be aware of this great gift whereby heaven is really present among us. Oh, Father, thank you so much for all of that. And thank you for what you do. God bless you, Father Robert Gall, professor at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross. Thank you again.